Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Absolutely gorgeous here in North Naples, Florida. 67 degrees right now. Today's high temperatures only going to get up to about oh, 86. Water temperature 79 degrees. Look how calm it is out there. No red tide. Just south of Vanderbilt Beach, down by the Ritz Carlton. Gonna be a beautiful day for the beach today. They still are distributing the sand, building that sand bomb here, so you're gonna have to put up with that. But other than that, it's gonna be a beautiful beach day. It's supposed to be clear conditions throughout the day. Can't beat that, can you? I do see some little clouds up here. Very, very thin clouds. I don't think there's anything to worry about. It's going to be interesting later on to see how far down the beach they've gotten with the berm project. It's turned into more of a beach for nourishment. I think they wound up with more sand than they expected. So the berm is a lot wider. It's not like a, what you would expect a berm to look like, like a little mound. Looks like they added a couple feet of sand from where the berm was going to be out to the high tide line. So it wound up being wider. Very interesting. They only had one big pile of sand down there this morning. I'm assuming more dump trucks will be coming in today. Looks like they might have held the dump trucks back yesterday. I don't know. I wasn't here. I was out on the boat with our friend Captain Sandy. Man, did we have fun. She's a good captain. We just cruised all the backwaters from Naples. We went up to Big Hickory Pass all through the backwaters of Bonita Springs, Bonita Beach. I did share. The video from our boat trip, our live feed. Sadly, Facebook doesn't save those videos in HD anymore. I don't know what the issue is. I know what the issue is. It's because there's no good internet connection when I'm out on the beach or on the water, so I'm at the mercy of my cellular connection and just can't handle the data rate for HD, I guess. It's crazy. 5G. It kind of does it on YouTube with these live feeds. I don't know why Facebook can't do it. Anyway, speaking of Captain Sandy, Boat Naples, check her website out if you'd like to take a little tour of maybe a real estate tour or dolphin watching trip maybe go shelling have a little picnic on an island here sunset champagne cruise even a sunrise breakfast cruise she'll do whatever you want to do check out her website boatnaples.com boatnaples.com you can see the packages she has available like i said she'll customize anything anyhow any way you want just give you an idea of what she does you can book online, but if you give her a call, that number you see on her website, that will go right to Captain Sandy. If you call her and mention my name, you're going to get a discount. So do that instead of booking online, even though it's easy to book online. Turtle Man, Marcus. I 
I don't know if we have any turtles on the beach yet. Pretty soon we're going to start seeing turtle tracks. And that's always fun. That adds a little excitement to our mornings. I'm dying to see what happens to the Sandburn project when the turtles start crawling up here. You check out that video of Wiggins Pass that I shared yesterday. You need to. The colors were just unbelievable. That was towards the end of our cruise yesterday as we were heading back. I sweet talk Captain Sandy into making one more run out to the mouth of Wiggins Pass. Check out that video. Those, the colors are just mind blowing. The blues, the green in the water. That's what the when the tide's coming in. The water usually gets that incredible emerald, emerald green color. It's beautiful. And it's just gorgeous with the blue sky and white clouds. God knows what he's doing. <laughs> he gave us a lot of beautiful things to enjoy. All we got to do is take care of them. Someday we'll learn how to do that. I guess this berm project is putting a hurting on a couple of our businesses out here. Naples Beach Water Sports, the company that rents the jet skis and has the parasail rides here down by the Ritz. They're not doing so good while this is going on. Our friend Cabana Dan, he's doing what he can. He's open down here. When you come in, you just got to kind of walk down to the south end, go around to the left. And Cabana Dan's down there with his red umbrellas and beach chairs if you need one. Today is definitely going to be an umbrella day. But he is open. Great guy, too. All the years I've been living here, I'm, I've just started talking with him and getting to know him. Banna Dan, and he just lives like pfft, one block over from me, which is kind of cool. I always used to hang out at Delnor Wiggins, you know, I'm not at Vanderbilt Beach. So, if you need an umbrella or a chair down here, help our friend Cabana Dan. He could use the business. He got wiped out from Hurricane Ian, he lost all his cabanas. Some of his friends are calling him Umbrella Dan now, instead of Cabana Dan. getting off to a gorgeous start. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Please tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television, especially if they're beach lovers. That's what it's all about. After my morning live feed here, I go live for, oh, between an hour, hour and a half, sometimes a little longer over on Facebook, on our Southwest Florida Television Facebook page. For a little beach walk up and down Vanderbilt Beach. 
occasionally we get to go other places like out on the boat with Captain Sandy or down to the Naples Pier or maybe one of our other local beaches here in southwest Florida. Heck, we even went over to Fort Lauderdale one day. Went to Fort Lauderdale Beach just for the heck of it. When our beaches were all closed here because of the hurricane. First it was COVID, then it was the hurricane. Always something. <laughs> Look who's coming. Look who's coming. It's the he's lost again. Morning, <laughs> Good morning. How you doing, Dexter? Good. Man. I talked to the total man. The turtle man? <laughs> yeah, he said that they've had two false crawls, but no nest here. No nest, yeah. I'm, dying. I'm so curious said, to see what's going to happen. I, I, he said he's worried. You know, he's hoping that they get all this cleared up before they start coming in. What are they going to do? I mean, I the, 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 move the nest? I have no idea. They, go, they have to do something with them because they're putting yeah. you know, two feet of <laughs> sand down. <laughs> the the that, turtles won't get up through that. Man. I know. It's like, I'm like, are they going to... They, they said, you know, if he finds a nest, they stop and yeah. they have to. So I'm guessing they're going to relocate him or something. I don't I, know. I I'm, think they have to relocate him somewhere. Or go around him. <laughs> I don't know. Leave a big hole until. <laughs> yeah, like you had. <laughs> that's, that's that Irish whiskey. You've been yeah, about. we're going to have a little get together. We're going to set up a tasting. Okay. Over at Irish Times, that new Irish pub in the pavilion. Okay. Next to tacos and tequila. We're going to yeah. work on setting up a little get together. We don't know. We might sell tickets to it because we might include appetizers and everything. Okay. But yeah. get it. It's, re it's really well, good. It's keep, very tasty. Keep me in the loop, though. Nobody knows how to say it, but <laughs> you look at that. It doesn't look like sluncha, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really, it's good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Let me know. Yeah, I figured you'd be up for something yeah, like that. That's right. I was kind of, you know, we had a couple cancellations on the boat yesterday, and I was trying to find people to go out, but I didn't know until like <laughs> seven o'clock. I was like, okay. But we will be doing that again too yeah. before rainy season. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it won't be like when we went on Captain Dave's boat and we got soaked. <laughs> we did get soaked. Did they not bring sand in yesterday? They're out there, just coming in now. Okay, because I noticed that one pile's gone. And yeah, the trucks are trucks are lined up there now to come in. So. All right, all right. Well, we'll maybe I'll catch you on the way back. Maybe not. I don't know how I miss you. <laughs> I don't know. Send some dolphins my way. Look at that water. So it's like glass. All right, Dexter. Have a good one. Our friend Dexter. We just met. Oh, I don't know, four years ago. Five years ago, just walking on the beach at Wiggins Pass. He was living up in Ohio and coming down here. And a couple years later, he and his wife wound up moving down here. I met a lot of people like that. Made some really good friends over the years just from walking on the beach and just through Facebook, not even meeting them. You know, not even meeting them personally on the beach. Eventually, everybody winds up in Florida. That's what they say, anyway. Maybe not Naples. Whew, Naples is crazy expensive. Crazy expensive. Good morning. If you look over there to the right, you can see they're down to one big Mount Sandmore. They had two Mount Sandmores when we were out here Wednesday. They're going to work on building up another pile, I guess, today. But I guess now that the trucks are make, you know, they're working their way up or down the beach, closer to the staging area here, to the stockpile. So the trucks are coming back and forth, getting refilled sooner now. So. Those piles are going down faster, if you can figure out what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Somebody out in the water.
Well, give you a few more minutes here. Get a, see if I can get on the other side of the sand pile. I do hear the dump trucks coming in. They have begun to arrive. The fleet is on its way. Oh, there's our sun. There's our sun peeking through the trees. Always like seeing that in the morning. That's always a welcome sight. Right down there at the base of the trees. That is always a welcome sight in the morning. Mr. Sunshine. That's Cabana Dan's stuff right down in there. That's where he's set up. Help them out, rent a chair and umbrella. Help the locals make it through this Sam Berm crisis. I don't know, they don't have a backhoe up on top of this pile like they did the other day. They had a backhoe up on top of each mound of sand. I guess they're going to replenish this one down here. By the way, the tide is still going out here. The low tide's not, you know, it's about 8.15 or so. And here comes all the dump trucks. They just line up out there on Vanderbilt Beach Road. 20, 25, 30 of them. Man, just the constant, constant stream of them. All right, I'm gonna call it a morning here on this live feed. I'll be switching over to Southwest Florida Television's Facebook page shortly. Thanks for hanging out with me. Remember, if you enjoy my videos, my live feeds, my postings here on YouTube and on Facebook, tips are hugely appreciated. Every dollar counts right now. I do thank you. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. You can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay, Rob Stan, Rob Stan, Rob with two Bs. S-T-A-N, Rob Stan. Hey, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, everyone, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.